Auto Line at CES is brought to you by Borg Warner, Etos, and by Gentex. Neil Bowman is the CTO at Gentex. They always have cool stuff at CES, so lay it on us here. Hey. Neil, what do you got today? John, great to see you. So, I'm going to show you a couple cool products. One today is going to be a dimming visor. We may have looked at this a couple years ago, a couple different variants. The visor itself, glass, dimming technology in between. As it darkens, you'll see, you can still see through the visor, but it's providing you and knocking down that glare. So it's driven off of some of our aerospace windows technology we've done, um, but it's a really cool idea. The other piece, once this thing's done darkening, is we've integrated a, re a switchable reflector. So it also becomes, becomes a mirror. So it might be easier to see it if I do it like that, and you can see it actually becomes a reflective surface so that one of the things with a visor, what do you have today? You have a vanity mirror. So when you do a dimming visor, there's no mirror. So adding that technology now creates that mirrored surface, which is really super cool. The other thing we're demonstrating is a concept of, now if you have this transparent glass that's a visor, what if you start putting some basic display information in it? So we're just showing simple little heads up display type concept along the top edge to show a basic idea of what could you do. Like we do every year at CES, we're showing something different, something new, and the goal of it is get some feedback. What's what's good, what's bad, how do we make it better? So is that what you're looking for, feedback? Or all, I mean, are you, all the time. Yeah. New ideas, we want to know well, what I, do people I know, think. but I mean, it, this almost looks production ready the yeah. way it's turned out Well, here. I appreciate that. Yeah. The team back in Gentex <laughs> would have really liked that. But absolutely, you can see the display is larger than the surface area. You can see a little bit of a rectangle, so it's not completely finished the way we would do it in production, but it's really about would a display add value? How can a consumer benefit from that? How can a driver or passenger value that type of technology? So what kind of feedback have you got? So far, really good. People are excited. When we introduced this two years ago and we added the switchable reflector, people got super excited because it solved the problem. This one is now exciting because it's new, and now it's like, what problem are we solving? How do we add that value that the consumer can really take advantage of it and they're willing to pay for it? Sure, and you know, you're showing some very simple things in the display. You could do a lot with that. Absolutely, yeah, This and, and part of it is, again, getting that feedback of how complex do you want to make it. Passenger side visor might have very different information than what a driver side could. Driver side might be simple telltale, so it's not distracting, almost a heads up display. Passenger side, you might be able to do more navigation. You might be able to do movies, whatever you might think of. So, a lot of opportunities. Very clever. But this isn't the only clever thing you got. Not but, the but, only one. Let's go look yeah. at some wireless power. That's right. So this one is great. This is done with a partner of ours called Solus. So Solus does wireless power and data. And you'll notice here this gap. This gap is actually transmitting power and data from a camera that's lo located in the outside mirror. So if you see that gap, and then you come and look at this display, you can actually see that it's transmitting data from this camera that's in this mirror. Camera's located in the mirror. There's no connection between this door and the mirror, so it's wireless power and data going through here to the camera. Camera's transmitting data back Ooh, through so the door. No wire through this. No wires into the mirror. It's all. Oh, the wireless. assembly plants would love that. It's a cool, cool idea. All of that wireless, or all that data comes back to this point where then it's wirelessly power and transmitted data comes How across. How does that work? Because, you know, uh, with wireless charging of your phone, you got to put the phone physically on top of it. Yeah. You're transmitting power and data with a big gap. These guys have great technology. It's it's similar similar idea of a phone charger, but it's also about the coil design and the frequency at which the coil is being driven. So you can actually see here, the window's not working right now or operational, but you can see the coils. That part, oh, there we go. It's actually moving. That coil is what we can darken this outside piece of glass with. So this whole piece, is inductive, the coil's coming back up, so it maintains power all the way through this cycle. So we can dim this piece of glass and control that dimming at any stage of the window. I, I'm just blown away by this gap, though, yeah. that you've got there. Yeah, and the gap, is, the gap can be variable. Um, it all depends on the efficiency you want, as well as the amount of power you have to transmit. So physical size, gap, are variables that they can work with to, to overcome some of the challenges and obstacles. So, you know, I always got to add that, <laughs> how far from production might this be? Um, so, Solus themselves have some of this product in, in, not in automotive, but in other markets. So it's it's viable in the 
consumer space today. Um, but we're probably two, three years out from being in the automotive side. Well, you know, that's why I love coming and looking at what you guys got. You always say two or three years out, and here we are, <laughs> two or three years later, and some of the other stuff you showed us in past shows might be in production. Are in yeah, production. I tend to be a little bit of a sandbagger, so yeah, I'm yeah. just saying that there's opportunities, especially when we talk about, you know, you take this technology and talk about a dimming roof. And if that roof's removable, how do you control it without plugging wires into it? So you see some synergies where maybe our dimming technology can come into play with this type of wireless power. I gotta believe you're getting a lot of attention with yeah. the people coming through the show here. It's been great day one. Uh, it's always chaos, as you know, but it's, it's also what we love about the show is a lot of feedback, people helping us critique our design, critique our product, and uh, you know we leave the show being better and having better direction on where we wanna go. Neil, thanks so much for your time again. Always good to come by and yeah. see what you guys have got here. Yeah, thanks, John. Appreciate you coming by. Take care. The automotive industry continues to evolve, and so do the opportunities to define it. Borg Warner, one of the world's most admired companies, gets its partners where they need to go. Let's do something big together.